Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Today is going to be a short one where we're going to make some pickled eggs. So here we have quite a selection of eggs. And the reason we've got these is because obviously here in the UK we're on lockdown thanks to the pandemic and we've just opened a restaurant at the brew shed. If you're new to the channel that's the crack. And uh, well, our amazing chef who I miss dearly ordered all these beautiful eggs for our full English breakfasts and unfortunately never got the chance to cook them so they've been sat in the fridge at work this isn't the first tray we've brought home and uh, well the date on them is getting on a little bit and we're gonna have to find a way to preserve these eggs because be <laughs> quite simply we're not going to be able to eat them all our hens are also laying the little bantams outside and we have a bit of a glut of eggs so what we're going to do today is preserve them in vinegar aka the good old British pickled egg. So we're gonna do a couple of types today. We're gonna to do some chili pickled eggs. Then we're gonna pickle some eggs in, um, in distilled vinegar. And then we'll also pickle some eggs in malt vinegar. So that should turn the egg brown. But the initial process is the same for all of them. We have to pop these eggs into a pan and boil them. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got the water on the hob, we're going to start to bring that up to a boil and while we do that, while the water is still cold, we're going to plop all of these eggs into the pan and there are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 of the um, shop bought eggs and we've got 10 of our bantam hen eggs here as well. And the idea is these smaller eggs will be able to kind of fill the gaps in the jars so we don't have any wasted space. So to save on energy a little bit, I've taken some of the water out. You only need just enough to cover the eggs. And then we've got this little egg timer. And uh, you pop that in and you can see by the colour change on it as to whether you're going to get a soft, a medium or indeed a hard boiled egg. I think we're going to head for between the medium and the hard today. So we'll pop that on the top of the eggs there where we can see it and let these little beauties come to a boil. We're not at a rolling boil yet but you can already see starting to approach or maybe you can't <laughs> we're starting to approach the soft boil egg position on the little egg timer so whilst the eggs are coming up to a boil we're going to get out our pickling medium so here's the distilled malt vinegar this is five liters we're not going to use all of it and here is the malt vinegar and then in that we're going to be adding a couple of these bay leaves um, a pinch of yellow mustard seed pinch of black peppercorns a couple of cloves and for one of them because we're going to do one malt vinegar and two distilled vinegar one of the distilled vinegar is going to be hit with these scotch bonnet chilies so we're going to make a spicy pickled egg. Now we've hit a rolling boil, it's time to empty these eggs into the sink and cool them down as fast as possible with cold water. The idea behind that is we want the egg on the inside to shrink away from the shell a little bit, hopefully making peeling 
easier. And now begins the long and arduous task of peeling these eggs. Little hint, if you peel them under water, it does make life a little bit easier, but it's certainly not the best part of the job. So we really are flying through these eggs at the moment, and there are lots of tips and tricks on the internet as to how to peel hard boiled eggs, because sometimes they can be really quite tricky and one of the tips that I've come across is to lay the egg down and roll it on a hard surface to crack the shell all the way around but what I found is that that can sometimes just break your egg clean in half and you know down the equator if you like and unless you've boiled the living daylights out of them then that can happen quite regularly and you end up not having eggs that are suitable for the pickling jar. Now when you're peeling these eggs you are going to get the odd piece of the albumin, the white, come away with the shell. Don't worry about it. Little areas like this, I don't know if that's kind of showing up on the camera, but that is just somewhere for the pickling vinegar to get in. And talking of pickling vinegar, there are some people who make pickled eggs and they go around each egg with a toothpick and make little holes in it so the vinegar can get inside well you can do that if you're in a rush but with something like a pickled egg time is your friend and you just want to leave it to sit normally for three or four weeks before you dive into them but I know we all can't wait that long, can we, for something like this? But they are going to be good for sometimes up to a year or more. Just sat in the vinegar and the longer you leave them, and yes indeed, the stronger the flavour is going to be. So here's a good example of a shell that doesn't want to come away. You can see it's got this membrane on this inside. So a quick dip in the water and then all of a sudden the liquid goes behind that membrane and lifts it up. And then once that membrane is up then what tends to happen is your thumb or fingers can slide along the shell, along the albumin a little bit easier. Just peeling that shell off. Keep dunking it in the water to give yourself a little bit of lubrication. We all like a little bit of lubrication. It makes things go so much easier. And there we go, another prime, perfect looking ego. So we've got the pickle jars ready and in the bottom of them we've got the herbs and spices the bay leaf, the mustard seed, the cloves and the black peppercorns. This one here has the 5% malt vinegar in. This one has 5% distilled malt vinegar. And this one also has 5% distilled malt vinegar with the addition of three habanero chilies. So the next job is to pop in the eggs. So we lost one of the bantam eggs. So I want him to put three bantam eggs into each jar because we have nine of them left. I think there's some in the bottom still. There's one. That's three in that jar. Oh, we nearly lost one there.
Oh, it looks like we've got room for a few more eggs. Anyway, we will pop a few more in here off camera and then we'll come back and seal up the jars. So that's the extra eggs. I've boiled another 13 and we're going to try a different approach this time. I've got some ice water and apparently taking the eggs straight out of the boil, still steaming, dropping it into the ice water makes them peel even easier. So we're going to take a little bit of a chance on that and see if indeed we can get it to work. And I think now's a good time to introduce a couple of bonus boiled egg fun facts. So after doing a little bit of research online, so you need to take all of this with a pinch of salt, I'm, I've discovered that apparently boiled eggs were a German invention where they had a glut of eggs and they already had a well-established gherkin eating community and they began pickling eggs to try and encourage them to move on to the eggs. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. And also, if you boil some beetroot, you can add a little bit of the pink beetroot juice to the boiled egg vinegar and it will taint your eggs a wonderful pink colour then if you slice them they make a lovely garnish for salads and other dishes because they look well quite strange well that seems to be peeling pretty much as well as just running it under cold water did previously so I'm not sure whether going to the trouble of having to create or make some ice to put in your ice water is really necessary if you've got it I suppose it speeds up the process but yeah it's still as tricky this is so I think just running it under cold water is about as good as it's gonna get folks anyway I'll peel these and then we'll move on to the rest of the video so there we go folks we've got three jars of absolutely wonderful looking pickled eggs this one's gonna be an absolute killer isn't it look at that those habaneros and this one a little bit darker so I'm gonna grab hold of the vinegar we're gonna to top up each of the jars so that all of the eggs are submerged and there we go there we have it folks three wonderful looking jars of pickled eggs and you want to pop Pop these in a cupboard, in the fridge if you like, but they don't need the fridge for between two and six weeks before you eat them. And for a bonus before we leave, the best way to eat a pickled egg, in my opinion, is to drop it into a bag of your favorite salt and vinegar crisps and then enjoy them together quite the quintessential British bar snack. Anyway, thanks for watching folks. If you're new to the channel and you like this sort of thing, then why don't you join us on the next video by hitting that subscribe button and we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.